Hi, so this is like the third video of the PC Parts Explainer series. We've already looked at CPU and RAM. In this video, let's talk about storage. You may have seen these pictures of like the earliest computers. They kind of took up entire rooms. Well, in fact, this is what a 5 MB hard disk looked like back then. And that's like the size of a modern day washing machine. We have come a long way since then. And this is what a 2 TB SSD looks like in 2020. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so coming back to your PC or laptop, let's look at what your options are. Broadly, they fit into two categories, traditional hard drives or HDDs or solid state drives or SSDs. Now both come in different capacities and also in different physical sizes. First, let's take a look at the differences between an HDD and an SSD. So a traditional hard drive or an HDD has moving parts inside it, like a spindle and a set of disks with magnetized surfaces which hold your data. Now because of all these physical movements, whenever you click on something or try to open a file, the platers have to spin up and a rewrite arm has to physically find and go to the data sectors you're looking for, which is a slow process. A solid state drive or an SSD on the other hand doesn't have any moving parts whatsoever. The lack of moving parts makes it far more reliable. You see, all the moving parts inside the HDD increases the risk of failure. If you accidentally bump your laptop or drop your hard disk, the chances of hard disk failures and recovering your data could prove to be expensive. But reliability is not the only plus point that SSDs have. The slowest SSDs are almost five times faster than the traditional hard disk. And as technology has improved over the years, we now have different types of SSDs available, like the 2.5 inch SSDs, M.2 SSDs, NVMe SSDs, and so on. If you have a slow computer, and you're looking for ways to improve your computer speed, you would definitely want to take a look at an SSD. It doesn't matter if you have the fastest process in the market, because if you couple it with a slow hard disk, your PC is going to be slow. If your PC is made up of many components that are not on the same level in terms of maximum capabilities, the overall performance of your PC will be that of the least capable component. This is called a bottleneck. In this case, the CPU's true potential is bottlenecked by the hard disk speed. Well, while SSDs are faster, they are also very expensive. A 1 TB HDD costs around 3 to 4,000 rupees, whereas a 1 TB SSD would be around 8 to 10,000 rupees. So the downside of an SSD comes about when you need to store a lot of data. You would need high capacity SSDs and the price would add up to a lot. So SSDs are best for working drives and OS drives. By that I mean if you install your operating system on an SSD, your computer will turn on in under like 15 seconds. Anything you do in it will also feel snappier because now there is no moving arm that needs to go and find your data. And in case you need additional space, you can always get a bigger HDD and use it as your second or even third drive. Before you go out and buy one, let's look at the different type of SSDs available now. The 2.5 inch SSDs and the M.2 SSDs are the most common options available to you. The 2.5 inch SSDs are one of the most versatile hard disks out there. They can be installed in the 2.5 inch hard disk bay or if you want you can just throw them in the cabinet or even tape them to the sides or let them hang out of the computer. Since there are no moving parts inside, it really doesn't matter. The drawback of these SSDs are their SATA interface, which results in significantly lower transfer speeds compared to the NVMe SSDs. They are still significantly faster than a regular HDD. I would recommend these if you are upgrading an old PC with no M.2 supports or an older laptop. Next up we have M.2 SSDs where M.2 stands for second gen mini SATA. It connects to the computer using SATA interface but the difference is that you don't have to use any cables. This one just attaches with a screw directly onto the motherboard. These won't give you substantial speed increases over the 2.5 inch SSDs though. And if more speed is what you're after then NVMe SSDs are the best way to go. NVMe stands for non-volatile memory express. Remember we said RAM is a volatile memory and it can hold data only as long as there is power going through it, well, NVMEs are just the opposite. These SSDs are more pricier than both 2.5 inch SSDs and M.2 SSDs. They are also way faster. The 2.5 inch or M.2 SSDs may give you speeds around 500 to 600 Mbps, but the fastest NVMe SSD would give you speeds around 3000 to 3500 Mbps. These drives can turn on your system in under 5 seconds. Do you remember when we said 1 TB SSDs would cost you around 8 to 10,000? Well, the NVMe SSDs that give you the speeds up to 3000 to 3500 Mbps, that would cost you around 15 to 18,000. First, start by looking at your system. If you're looking to upgrade, that is, if you have an older PC which doesn't support M.2, then get a 2.5 inch SSD. If you're upgrading your laptop, check which hard disk is already inside. If your laptop has a traditional hard disk, then it's always easy to swap out for a 2.5 inch SSD. If it comes with an M.2 drive, then you'll only gain performance by switching it to an NVMe SSD. But first, check with the manufacturer website or the manual to see if your laptop supports NVMe SSDs. When it comes to capacity, 500 GB is the sweet spot, but we recommend 
you get at least 250 GB. 120 GB SSDs are cheaper, but they can't hold much, and you might find yourself needing more storage. Even if you are only planning to use it as a boot drive, try to go for a minimum of 250 GB. At the end of the day, any SSD is better than having an SSD when it comes to speed and performance. But the speed difference between a great SSD and an entry-level SSD is very subtle. Unless you are doing heavy tasks like 4K, 6K editing, in which case try to aim for the NVMe SSDs. If your daily work involves surfing the web or using Office and maybe some light gaming, you would be fine with a 2.5-inch SSD or an M.2 SSD. So evaluate your workload and then choose wisely. And that's it for this video. And like always, if you like the content, do give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. This is Ajish and thank you for watching TechSafe.